Hi, this is Onelfri from Onelfri.com, and on this segment, I'm going to be talking marketing for creatives, how creatives can get their website seen. So if you're a creative person of any kind, um, a designer, an artist, photographer, painter, anything that has to do with imagery, keep on listening. So as an artist or a photographer, creative of any kind, you want to get your work seen by other people. And just how do you do that? Okay, so this is the WordPress dashboard. Um, I'm going to be using it as an example, but these tips can apply to any other website. So if you're an artist, um, you probably have a lot of images in your computer. And they probably have uh, names like this, um, MG0203. Okay, so I'm going to show you my typical workflow with my images um, when I'm using them for my photography work. And when I make my blog posts as well. So this image is of the Pepsi Cola sign in Queens, New York. And there's a bridge here, the Queens Bridge in the background as well. So instead of the file name being MG045 whatever, um, I go ahead and name what is actually in the image. Pepsi Cola sign. Remember, the search engines like text. So you've got to use text and not only images on your website. Okay, so now I've got the perfect name for my image. I'm set with that, but now I want to see what is my file size. 211 kilobytes. Why does your file size matter? Because you want your site to be as fast as possible. People love fast loading websites. So I size my image to the size that I want it to appear at, um, but the image size is still kind of big. How do I get it smaller? You can remove some extra data. You can use a site like TinyPNG and drop your files to resize them without losing quality. So to demonstrate the power of TinyPNG.com, I'm going to take this image, 3.3 megabytes, and resize it. So I just drag and drop my image right there. As you can see, it's compressing it right now as we speak. And look at that, I saved 68% in my image. Now it's down to one megabyte. How about that? That's how you save some space in your loading time. So once you've got your compressed image, you're not done yet, you want to upload it to your WordPress website. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you click here, add media at the top of any post that you create in WordPress. Click there, you'll get a page like this. So then I just drag and drop my image, as I would, in WordPress, and it begins uploading. But wait, you don't just go and hit insert into post right away. You got a lot of information that you can provide in these boxes here. Caption, out text. They say sometimes people read your captions before they even read your content. So you want to include something catchy there to make them read more. It's a very good spot. Then here in this little box, alt text is what Google is going to actually see and not your actual image. So you want to be as descriptive as possible in that box. So I actually went ahead and put black and white photograph or Pepsi Cola sign with Queensbridge. Um, that's the text that Google is going to see. So here's a quick bonus tip. Uh, you don't want to include important text in an image because Google will not see it. If this text were part of an image, then Google would not be able to see it. But as you can see, this is text and it's very important because this person has a local business. If you'd like to see exactly how the search engines see your website, you can go to seo-browser.com and put in your website right here. If you enjoyed this tip, if you'd like more information, you can go to onelfree.com and uh, see this post. Uh, get my website seen, a how-to for creators.